Hey guys, what's up? So to be showing top best shirts, these fire 11, 12, 13, 14. The first she's called watch sounds and change the stock notification sounds and vibration of third party applications on the Apple Watch. So there's different kind, 10 different kinds of Apple Watch OS system sounds to choose from. Most of the sounds are vibrations and never use it regular watch OS, but the, uh, with watch sounds you can repurpose them to any application you like. This is called Astolfo. Uh, pictures that are not Astolfo, does anyone know? So, a thoughtful Siri as an image to Siri view. This is called a Tassin Untether, which I see it's a new, like, I think, file for the jailbreak. I think five was like eight devices, which is a Tassin Untether. This is called Photos Pro, as many features the application of photos um, paired with iOS 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And this is called TikTok God, moves ads, download uh, videos without watermark. Um, all scroll to next video, change your region. It may not work for iPad and some devices, so progress bar. Can hide UI and supports iOS 12 to 14 in the latest TikTok version. Next feature is called Artsy. Uh, modified lock screen, control center, Spotify, music app now playing views based on the album artwork. Next is called Plus for Instagram. It's only one tweak for Instagram. So you have all these features right here. See unsent direct messages, comment translation, focus mode, clean experience, media downloader, watch story or live without them knowing, story video editor, copy comment text, various confirmation, low data mode, show total lights and views. Add unlimited accounts for resolution profile picture, disable quick reactions, unlimited media uh, replay for direct messages, disable type and status for direct messages, disable uh, message marked as seen for direct messages, and you frequently asked questions. This is called Big Sur Center. Big Sur Center replaces the default iOS um, control center with a new lightweight and elegant one inspired by a new control center and Mac OS Big Sur. This is called Instagram Plus Legacy. So it must have to be for Instagram. It's just like Instagram, like just like those I showed you, which is uh, plus for Instagram, basically like the same thing. You get the same features, it's the same developer, I believe. So add support for the latest version of Instagram, uh, version 181. So this one's legacy, like the older version. So, you know, like I said, right here, version two of Instagram plus, now called plus for Instagram, is now available in package. So this is a new one right here, like I just told you before. Um, so this is the older one, but it still got updated. This is called Lint's uh, Ultimate iDevice Customization for iOS 14 and up well this is for lens 2 lens is for iris 12 and 13 lens 2 is for iris 4 so this is lens 2 ultimate eye device customization for iris 14 and up for iris 12 and 13 just get lens for iris 14 and up get lens 2 and this is called notability plus plus adds gestures to undo redo and more on notability and this is called yoban evolution uh, s utilities in the control center supports iris 13 to 14. And this is called anchor and allows you to freely place your icons wherever you want. Next week is called Current Bypass. Um, supports iOS 12 to 14.2. It's a current level jailbreak testing bypass. So, which we can cover, check rain, Odyssey, and Odyssey Rain. So, use that at your own risk because it is, there's no uh, warranty for it. And not all, not all applications are supported. So, it works for me. It works great on check rain and doesn't work too well on a cover. Um, and so, you guys run it. So, you set it up using like M, uh, new term or M terminal, you gotta run the, these commands to uh, set it up and then turn the apps on or off from the settings. This is called Gridic Colis and your device supported, place icons anywhere, that's uh, Gridic Colis. This is called what the suit to for WhatsApp, only one tweak for WhatsApp Messenger. This is called Multipla, power to your dock. So it provides you apps, um, four apps to launch. It changes by bringing widgets and option of more apps to your dock, all in a power efficient, stable way. This is called Hide My Dock TV. It adjusts the transparency or hide the dock on TVOS 13 up. This is called Blocks Reloaded 2, widgets the way you want and the way they're meant to be. In tweak is just uh, Blocks Reloaded um, instead of Blocks Reloaded 2. So bring widgets right to your home screen. Of course, I was 13 and 13.7. This is called Redire, a uh, new look for the camera button. This is called Zebra, a useful package manager, great alternative to Cydia. So, this version was an hour ago, support for the Tarn jailbreak and community sources, support for Parkour's repo if Odyssey Rain is being used in community service uh, sources, Parkour's uh, repo will be listed in community sources if Parkour's uh, is detected, uh, but to known jailbreak is fine. It's called Cilio Beta Channel, proper APT client, Fire 11 and higher. It's a another city alternative. This is called Notch Control, control with your notch. This is called Melier and Beautiful Volume HUD. Beautiful Volume HUD. This is called Cilio version 2.0.3, proper APT client, Fire 11 and higher. 
this is the alternative. This is called buy background breadcrumbs, removes the breadcrumbs if the app is not running. This is called awesome page dots, animated page control for the home screen. Sports Iris 11, I mean Sports Iris 13. This is called digital clock, uh, no, it's a new modern clock icon with fully customi customizable colors. This is called spy 2, best speak to spy on anyone who uses your phone. This is called photo doc, uh, change your dots background to a photo of your choice. This is called Translomatic, we translate any text. She's called Special Faces, enables the special watch faces on any Apple Watch. Called Preference Loader, uh, load preferences in style. This is called CC Power, no option to configure. This is called EQE, system wide parametric equalizer, supports iOS 7 to 14, check range is recommended. This is called Gesto if iOS 13 or 14, true multitasking, so we're gonna do that true multitasking. I also want to mention with Gesto version 1.2.1, it features a fits for a bug that could cause crashes on iOS 13 devices. Last week it's called Drain. Find out which packages are draining your battery the most. So if your battery does go a lot more down just because of your jailbreak, this tweak allows you, helps you find that tweak that's draining your battery the most. So pretty cool tweak to have. Um, so you guys, thanks so much for watching. Catch you next one. Like, comment, subscribe. And work uh, FPFFS. Fixes the issue where some apps would freeze on launch screen for about 20 seconds.